In this video, we'll take a look at how to transpose data. And transpose is just a fancy word for when I want my rows to become my columns. So in other words, notice here how I have three rows of data. What I want this to become is these three rows that flow from left to right. I want these values to become three columns that go down. So SAT score, the variable name for the SAT scores, would be in column A. Social support would be in column B. And college GPA would be in column C. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Now the easiest way I think to transpose the data is to go ahead and copy it. So I'll select the three rows. I'll right click the mouse, select copy. And I'm going to go ahead and transpose the data here just so I can keep these two separate for now. So with cell A5 selected, I'll right click the mouse, go to paste special, and then go down to the end where it says paste transposed. Go ahead and select that. And you can see there, I've already got a transpose. So SAT score 1200. It's right here, SAT score 1200. Social support goes down now in column two. And then college GPA goes down in column three. And if we see here, we have 1262 3.45. There's 1262 3.45. Looking at one more example to make sure this worked correctly 1050, 56, and 29. There's 1050, 56, and 29. Okay, that looks great. So what I'll do now is I'll delete these first four rows. So go ahead and select rows one through four here. Right click the mouse. Click on delete rows one through four. And there you go. So we've got our data transposed. And I'll just go ahead and expand this a little by double clicking right here. Actually, let's make it a little bigger. And then this one too. All right, we've got our data now ready to be analyzed in the more traditional column format. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.